once you've finished all your frames, go to Photoshop. This is C Photoshop CS3. This is going to bring our render to a final state using different output formats altogether. Now you can use any other software you'd like, and most of the steps are going to be similar. First thing, let's open up all our shots. So we have the shared shot. We also have the night PSD shot and the day PSD shot. Now you can also open up the EXR files that you had and tone map them if you like. Currently I'm pretty happy with the way my images look. We'll start off with the shared. Now the alpha 2 is already there so we don't need to put it. We're going to grab the depth, the shading normal and the ambient occlusion and put all of these inside the night shot. Let's take it up here and we want to put it in day shot. There you go. So first off, so we can close the shared file. Now let's grab a few of the alphas and put them in the back in the channels and the alpha channels. So we're going to select all, copy, go to channels, add a new channel, paste, copy, and paste, and we're going to call this cabinet alpha. We're going to go to this alpha here. Copy that. Go to channels. Paste alpha again. And then we're going to go to depth output. Copy that. Go to channels. Paste. And we're going to call this depth Okay. Now we're going to do something that is the opposite of what we just did. So this is our shading normal output. And basically what this is going to do is get split into three different renders. Now select all. This time go to the channels. Go to R, G, and B. Let's start with red, copy, go back to layers, make a new layer, let me get this, here we go, so just new layer using this icon here. We're going to paste it, and if you notice, it's totally black on the polygons facing me, and so this would be my Z, or make, let's make it something more clear, front and back, and you'll see what I mean in a second. Hide that, go back to the shading normal, select all, let's go to green, copy, layer, Paste. This is going to be top and bottom. Hide. Go back to shading normal. Select all. Copy. Go to blue. Copy. Paste. It's going to be right and left. Okay. So basically each one of these shots represents um, black and white values, this one being front and back. Okay. So let's hide everything except for our final LDR, as well as the front and back. So as you can see here, I can use blending modes to increase lighting or to decrease lighting specifically front and back. Let's do one at stop 
and bottom. Now, this may be exaggerated here, but uh, you can see what I, you see my point. All right. Now that we have that, we don't need the shading normal output anymore. And the depth output, we'll keep it for safe measure. So you need to do the same thing here in the night shot. So copy my depth channel, paste depth, copy your alpha 2, corrugated cabinet alpha. I'll just call it cabinet alpha. And the actual alpha of this shot. So we can delete this, delete that, go to the shading normal, copy, layer, new, paste, top and Oh, this is front and back. Copy. New layer. Paste. Top and bottom. Blue. Copy. Layer. New. Paste. Right and left. Okay, get rid of shading normal. So same thing here, we don't need the alpha here anymore. Or oh, this alpha here. So save these as your out. You also don't need the final HDR image here, since we already have it. It's no longer HDR in this 8-bit file. Okay, once you're done, save your night shot and save your day shot.